What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft. We have one more player that we need. Hippity Long Ears in chat just said, I will join. So we'll see if that actually does the trick. Either way, we got one more player to join. Also, check out manatraders.com if you guys are looking for a great subscription service from Magic Online. If you guys want to test out historic, pioneer, modern, standard, you can do all of those things with Mana Traders, and you get 15% off <clears throat> the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. It's also a great way to support the channel. And while we're waiting, you can also use nordvpn.org slash franklaport to get 68% off a two-year subscription and one month free. So 25 months for 68% off. And uh, that's a great deal. It's also a great way to uh, support the channel. And now we're in it to win it. What do we got here? Oh, there's Hippity Long Ears up in the upper right. And I'm down here. I kind of like Sublime Epiphany. I also kind of like Eleshnorn. I also kind of like... Those are the two I like. <coughs> Mind Shatter seems bonkers? Interesting. Maybe. I mean, I think you need a way to ramp. If you're like blue... If you're like blue... Black... Black green... And you're, when you're mind shattering, I think it's probably okay, but. I think mind shatter is totally fine. Um, I just think you want to not play it on curve. I think you want to be ramping a little bit. I kind of just want Sublime Epiphany. Um, I, I, the combo never works out, and Sahili will <laughs> literally likely table. So I'm just going to take Sublime here, because... I personally like it. And it's pretty... Ooh, Teferi Time Raveler. Interesting. I don't love this Teferi, but like... I know it's a decent, right? So that's where I'm at. Yeah, we're just taking Teferi. Misty's good. <clears throat> don't love careful consideration. I just don't want to tap out on my turn to use it, and I don't think it's that great if you're tapping out on the opponent's turn. And Teferi is very, very similar. Like, if you're drawing drawing four and discarding three, you're basically just looting. It's literally a four for four. So, I mean, over four turns, Teferi's doing that same thing. Actually, over two turns. I think it's just Misty here. <laughs> it could be Kiki Jiki, but we don't have Splinter Twin, so what's the point, man? Magmatic Sinkhole. Terramander's not great. This pack's kinda meh. Guys, what if we go teamer again? I'm gonna take Sinkhole. <clears throat> Actually Dream Trawler is uh it, oh god, Moldrifter and Vencer too. This pack is really good. It's just 11 cards. I wonder if Dream Trawler comes back. <clears throat> I'm going to take Moldrifter because I feel like this might have a better chance. I think Moldrifter is probably better than Vencer.
<clears throat> what if we just take Teferi? Oh, and Metamorph? Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. I've never seen a Gristlebrand played or taken. <clears throat> what if we just... What if we try the Mono Blue deck? Okay. Domri. My wife came in and woke me to tell him woke me. Were you asleep? That the that the prez got COVID. I fell back asleep, but woke an hour later. I just had to confirm with her that I was not dreaming. Oh no, you're not dreaming, my dude. <clears throat> uh nimble obstructionist is probably better than flame spill here. Champion Wits? Okay. I actually, Duplicant's decent if we're playing like Teferi. Instant Speed Duplicant. <sighs> Instant Speed Champion's also pretty good. But if we're, if we're trying Mono Blue, I think Duplicant's probably better here. None of these cards are great for us, but we'll assume Grixis might be an option one day. Prez has COVID, yes. Yes, him and Melania Trump were diagnosed about two hours ago. <clears throat> None of these are any good. I'll take the white card just in case. Jeez. A weird, this is a weird draft. <laughs> I fell asleep with the stream on. Were you and the wife in the same bed? Were you just listening to the stream and you fell asleep and then the wife was like, hey, shut that fucking stream off. This dude keeps saying Niz, Niz, Niv Mizuti and he's talking about his booty. Oh, Gristlebrand? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, there's a way to put Crystal in play. You uh, tap all your mana. And then you get it. So we're in a lab that does COVID testing. I'm skeptical only because I thought he got tested on Tuesday. Then he pops positive in two days. Titters normally don't do that unless exposed to a high viral load. So did that happen or do you think it's a scam to gain you know, sympathy for an abysmal debate performance? And it's I was That was like literally my only... That was my only concern, was it's like, wow, he does absolutely fucking abysmal at the debate. And now he has COVID, so he can't do the other debates. Wow, that's really convenient. However, it does say that uh, a specific person, I think it's just pulled from tomorrow here. I don't know if that was correct. I'm trying to, like, keep this mono blue alive. But... What can you do? We'll see. So, I mean, like, okay, so basically it's... The the story is... Um, it was reported that Hope Hicks, a close advisor to Trump, who traveled with him aboard Air Force One several times this week, had tested positive. So they do have a, an actual source. Ancestral Vision could be decent here. <laughs> we could take... See, the problem is Lotus only gives us three black. We need four black, man. Can you imagine if it ever got out that he was lying about it, though? Like, that's the thing, man. Like, if you lie about having COVID... Like, that seems pretty... That seems pretty unforgivable. In my opinion. Like that's ins that would be insane to me. <clears throat> no, I don't. Yeah, like I mean, him lying is obviously an option for sure. I mean, I think the count is like twenty thousand lies in his in the in the 
in his term of presidency, presidency like that's a, that's a pretty ridiculous amount of time. I'm just saying that like that's a pretty abysmal thing to lie about. I think Karn is actually probably the pick here. I don't think Spark Double. I think we're just taking Karn. I don't know what's going on with this deck. We're definitely trying to be as mono blue as possible, but I I did I was thinking of Radical Mystic as well. Yeah. Spell Pierce. I mean, we're really kind of like looking for like Torrential Gear Hulk. Guys, it's Clothis again. Do we abandon ship and go Teamer? <laughs> I think Clothis is real good. I'm also not a conspiracy nut. There's like very few conspiracies, conspiracies I actually believe in. I think that I think the number is zero. But like the timing is just so convenient. You literally bombed at the at the debate two fucking days ago. Just real convenient. Oh, I got quarantined for 14 days. <clears throat> and then, like, if he comes back, right, he's like, oh, I beat it, I fought it. You know, like, not only is that going to, like, excite his base, but it's also going to show, like, oh, he's so tough, he fought COVID, you know? Like, it's really weird. It's, it's just, like, it, it's almost like a win-win if he comes back. Um, let's take Gadwick. Gadwick is basically like a second pull from tomorrow here. Immortal Sun's good, but we already have Karn and Teferi. We're obviously hoping to open a Jason Wine Sculptor. Baral? Seems... Pretty good if we're trying to like counter things. Yeah, and then he claims he can he suffered with them, you know. So he's like, he's like, see, I told you, like everyone can heal from this. It's not a big deal. Like it's just so. Oh man. It's interesting. It's interesting. Oh, Night Veil Spectre is actually decent because we can ca actually cast it and start playing things with it. Impulsive seems better to me than Oracle, but Karanos seems really, really good. And I think that's worth the splash. I don't think I care about Thassa's Oracle. We have, like, Ancestral, Gadwick, Porphyrmaro, Teferi, Karn. Like, we have lots of card advantage right now. I mean, I have it right now. Got it from a guy from work. My girlfriend got it from me. I'm pretty much fine. Got a hacky cough and some fatigue. She's sick. All of the sickness stuff. Yep, that's pretty much how it goes like it can definitely hit people differently brad i really hope you're okay buddy i really hope she's okay as well hmm nothing great in here it's not an emery deck we only have metamorph and mirror but maybe it could be i mean we're not gonna play literally anything else here so 
Mm, temporal Mastery I don't hate. Whirl of Rogue is actually reasonable. Banefire, okay. Artless Act, sure. <clears throat> I'm 32 and she's 37, which could have something to do with it. Yeah, but I mean, like, then you're looking at someone like Trump who's, like, 78 years old. 74, like. Ashiok also seems worth the splash. Jace is very good. Yes, he's old. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Jace seems great here. Especially with Sublime Epiphany. We don't have any, like... Any real cards we can play during our turn as far as spells, though. We had a 32-year-old have a stroke a few weeks ago. Jeez. Jeez. Is that, you know, COVID-related? I mean, we have Misty, so we can go get, like, a Triome if we get, like, Black, Red, like, the Savon Triome. No, we couldn't even get that one. Dang. I think it's just Jace for now. Oh, I like a Remand a lot. I also like Obnixilus, but I, we're just kind of, we're trying to keep this theme. I think Sower even might come back. Hmm, 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 hmm. I've had friends who've had and exhibited almost zero symptoms, and I have friends whose patients have died from it. It's crazy how all the effects. Katie's, like I said, I mentioned, I mentioned on Facebook the other day. Katie's uh, grandfather actually got it. Um, he's in a he's in a home, and like we were like waiting any day for him to die. I mean, not like obviously not we didn't want to. We just assumed every any day the next day is going to be it. He's still I I haven't we haven't heard any news. So like, you know, I guess he's fine so far. But, like, you know, no idea, like, I think it's actually Teferi here. Bribery's fine, but I'm not super impressed. Water or Fumeral is fine. I'm going to take the Teferi, because now, like, we can splash either one of these if we get the color for it. Now we can splash Dragonlord Solemn card, too. Which I honestly don't think is terrible, because I'm really just hedging to see what colors we can splash with. But now we have black, red, and white. Can you pass me a, a fetch land out of the table? I don't actually have one, so I have I have one misty, but I think I'm gonna have to keep it. Some people have talked about cross protection, as in some people have built inbuilt protection against some diseases, and also protection from COVID. It's also speculative. That's the thing. Like, there's so much we don't know, and every every so often, like every like every week, we're learning something new, and that's why it's like really silly to not take this seriously because it's like you fucking don't know dude like you have no idea what it like what it's capable of like i'll take walking ballista <gasps> creeping tar pit i do like a creeping tar pit dragon skull summit could cast both of these i'm gonna take the creeper right now There's also 23 cards, but I assume we're cutting at least well, at least one of these three. Frost Titan is a decent replacement for one of them. Is Yorian any good? Yorian can blink Whirler Rogue. Metamorph, meh. Not really. We're not a great Yorian deck. That was weird that it took. We'll just take Frost Titan. It's still a big fat idiot. Oral, have a good night, buddy. Stay safe. Right, that's the thing. Like, even if you're protected from it, so if I get the virus and I'm protected from it, I can still spread it to literally everyone I come in contact with. 
And that's why the asymptomatic, uh, like, carrier nature of the virus is so scary. Because you're just like, well, you don't know if you have it. So, I guess we're just taking Torrential Gear Hulk, which is kind of what we wanted. But I also wish we got, like, a Cryptic Command. Oh, well. Now we have a ton of six drops and no real ramp here. And, like, if we're playing both of these, we're probably not playing Silumgar, even though we got the Tar Pit. Misty's worse because we have nothing to get with it. I wonder if we are just mono blue. Maybe splash like three islands for like a Karanos. Or three planes for a Teferi. A random ding. This was more of an experimental draft. I think we'd be doing well, so I kind of just wanted to experiment with a mono blue deck after we got Sublime Epiphany and Teferi himself. Sleight of hand is not terrible. Sure, I'll take a sleight of hand. Oh, Wandering Fumeral is interesting. Huh. Okay. Because we also have Magmatic Sinkhole as a removal spell. That's interesting. Hmm. Without, like, we don't have any way to really manipulate our deck for this. So it'll always end up in our opening hand, unfortunately. This could be a thing in the ice deck. I don't even know if we're a Torrential Gear Hulk deck. I guess we are. We have Remand, Spell Pierce. Expansion Explosion. Okay. Maybe we're just blue-red. Just a good old-fashioned blue-red deck. I think Karanos... Oh, I don't even hate this guy. I think this guy's actually fine if you just pop him on a flyer. Yeah, I don't care about you. Alright, so let's... Hmm. Instant Sorcerer's got Ancestral, Spell Pierce, Sleight of Hand, Remand. Um, you can go here. Sublime and pull. I don't think we're playing Temporal at this juncture. I don't think we're playing Thing now either. Magmatic Sinkhole is pretty decent. And we really we need two red, and we have tons of ways to filter for it. Here, two drop. You guys are X spells. Six drops are a little heavy, but we definitely have things to keep us alive. I don't mind Sea Dash or Octopus. Like, put on like a Night Veil Spectre or a Nimble Obstructionist is pretty decent. Is it two mana? It's only two mana to mutate? Yeah, that seems good. Um... Let's have Sinkhole. I think Sinkhole and Sea Dash are like the two. I actually kind of like the deck like this. 15 creatures is more than I would have expected. Yeah, I think we just had like four of these. 12, 13, 15, 16. Yeah, I think it's like 12, 4, and then Wandering Fumeral. Because we only have one red card. We do want to triple for both of these, though, which I think is fine with 13 blue sources. Maybe we can go one fewer. Four red for one Karanos. I think that's probably better. All four of my one drops are mana elves. <laughs> That's a yikes for me, dog.
think this is actually good. I think this is fine. I do kind of like sinkhole, but I also don't want to be like. And like a lot of our creatures doesn't like the, the octopus isn't gonna help. I like metamorph, Baral, Jace, Whirler Rogue, Teferi, Moldrifter's good. Oh man, can you imagine putting on Moldrifter? We'll see. I think this deck is sweet. So. All right. Anytime someone wants to, anyone anyway, someone wants a battle, I'm I'm game. All right, let's do it. Oh, spell pierce. You know what? I'm gonna keep this hand, even though it has one playable card in it, because I think the cards we do have are strong. I'm pretty sure we can draw more nonsense. Yep, that's a good dude. Oh, we're just going to get in there for one and then nothing else? Oh, I like it. Remand? Whirl or Rogue, huh? Okay. I guess we're hoping that they play a Planeswalker. If they want to just keep attacking and not playing anything, like... I am. Good, good, good game. Um, pff, I don't want either of these, but I guess I'll take this one. I guess we don't have to draw them though, right? So that's a thing. And now we just get to like play either one of these. Oh, come on, be a big fat planeswalker. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I'm so mad. Sure, you got it. Remand. Dang it. I'm getting so frustrated here. We still good. We still good. Now they're gonna play. There's no good planeswalkers at six. I guess they could play a five mana. Oh, no, it's just going to be a big fat idiot. Genesis for four. Sure. Ugh, I got a Corsair Prefix too. Where's the justice here? I think we're just dead now. Yeah, it's not looking good, guys. Do you hear those, those cars? Wild. No blocks. Six... Justice Beaver? <laughs> Who's Justice Beaver? <laughs> He's a beaver that fights crime. Alright, so we know they have Tooth and Nail. And Palooka knows. Tooth. Palooka. Westvale Abbey. Five, six, seven. They can play. They can just play tooth and nail, but one creature from their from their hand into the thing. Sure. And I'm pretty sure instead of Karanos, we're definitely just playing Teferi. because it also lets us keep up. Um, spell Pierce. Let's make a one one. Sure. Boot to that. Have a good night, buddy. 
<laughs> so another hand is Pelucranos and Tooth and Nail. And they got a goose on top. Pelucranos. You got it. Pretty sure you just alpha here. Interesting. One, two, three, four. So, they can activate that for one, right? Uh, sure, that's fine. Oh, they didn't. I like that. That's nice. So, another hand is Tooth, and they're drawing Goose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can't actually tooth and nail for seven. Being able to copy your own Frost Titan seems pretty nuts if we get to do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So I think they'll three to Teferi. That's not good enough. Yeah, Goose lets them flip, flip Westville. We have some Lime Epiphany, so I'll just bounce their idiot if they want to sack their whole board. It's fine with me. Gotta use it or lose it. This actually puts us in a surprisingly good position because we can just Sublime Epiphany, like, counter their spell. I think they're just gonna activate Pelucranos here for three. Seems pretty unimpressive. Sure. I hope they target the. I really hope they target Frost Titan. Sure. That's, I mean, I'm not going to block with Teferi anyway, so. Um, it's five, six, we brawl, and this costs too much. Much too much. So now we just keep this down. Sure. And if they want alpha, we go to one, or we just play something at instant speed. Everything in our hand is flash now. And if they want to just play tooth and nail for seven, I'm more than more than more than happy to just uh. Spell Pierce and play like Karanos or Muldrifter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Karanos is actually live right now. And by that I mean a creature, so. Yep, this is going to be a blowout. Um, I mean, I'm just, I'm curious whether to do which one of these to do. And that's probably going to be a concession. Like that's a pretty, that's a pretty, it's a blowout. <laughs> I think this is the more versatile card, and if I can actually get value out of a spell pierce on here, I think it's just better. I would have loved to put a second copy. I didn't think that would work. It was close. It wasn't that close.
Also, keep in mind, Nimble Obstructionist gets the counter the Westvale Abbey trigger if they want to activate that. Yep. You got it. You got it. Now we just Muldrifter, right? Land? Kind of looking for a land here. Got it. Okay, so we just tapped on the goose and killed him. I guess they make a guy. Then we can counter it. If they block, yeah, this is fine. I think they're still dead. Tap down, goose. Oh, we get, they, they, make a, they can make a food. And then we can just nimble obstructionist. That's fine. Yeah, that's game. Like whether they whether they go to twelve and then they can't make a guy, and they take a million, or they make a guy and block and they take six seventy nine ten eleven. So, wow, that was a that was a sweetie boy. I mean, we also have heartless act and dreadbore that we can bring in if we were really like trying to be Grixisy because we do have creeping tarpit. Dragon Lord Selimgar is also a dude that they probably don't have a ton of answers to. I actually think Spell Pierce is probably not the... I mean, you could probably board out Spell Pierce. My opponent attacked me with a Dark Confident when they were on 2 life, and it, it turned out it was a ninja. <laughs> That's not a Dark Confident at all. That's a ninja. I kind of do want to... I kind of like the black plan. Oh, it's going to be really hard to play Dread Boar, though. Eh, I guess we can take out Teferi, too. Eighteen lands, huh? Oh, we could have put in Tarpit, sure. <clears throat> so now we can bring in Dread Boar, Heartless, and maybe even, like, Silumgar. Is Silumgar? Silumgar has to be better than, like, Torrential Gear Hulk here, right? I mean, this is a risky gamble, but. I'm not gonna cut red. I got Karanos. And I got Wandering Fumarol. Plus, Dreadbore gets worse if, like, you cut the red, obviously. <laughs> I'll keep this. Again, two six drops, but having a black source is nice. Watering femoral. Oh, dang. I do like it. We can mull drifter too, so. That's actually pretty good. I like that a lot.
Oh, is, if it's not Slimy himself. Okay, we got all of our colors now. Um, I don't think we Mole Drifter here. I don't think it does anything. It gives us something to play next turn, but... Drawing three out of four six drops is pretty wild, though. Okay. Acidic Slime is a concern, unfortunately. They didn't attack. It's very interesting. Beast, yep, that's that's the thing we were worried about. You got it. Search for tomorrow, okay. Carney boy. Kinda just wanna make it a guy here. No, I want a plus. Mirror Battle Steeler Tefri. Hmm. Hmm. It's probably gonna give me Tefri. Because Mirror Battle Steeler is oh wow, that's surprising. Interesting. Well, it's passed. We're just jump blocking here. Or we take it this turn. We get another activation of Karn. It goes to three. I think that's fine. Yeah. It's not great, but... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't care about that or the search. Gadwick is actually pretty interesting here. Don't need red yet, so I'm just going to keep the red until we actually need it. Next turn, having Duplicant or Frost tighten up is pretty good. We can Gadwick draw one, and that's pretty much it. We can also Teferi loot... And then exile this guy forever. I'm just going to plus one again. Creeping Tar Pit and a Fumeral. Interesting. Fumeral. Okay. All of our cards draw us cards here. Two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. They have seven mana. They can make eight mana, nine mana. I think we're just drawing one to try to hit, like... We took out Spell Pierce, didn't we? Okay, I like that. We did play land, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's 
let's just discard Fumarole. I want all my lands like I'm going to play untapped. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't like that at all. I mean, I'm definitely double blocking this guy. Or I'm st or I'm single blocking and stealing it with Silumgar. I'm not actually sure what the mono green deck can do against a Silumgar. Well, they have five mana right now. I mean, they can't even block this guy if we take it. Mm -hmm. All right, five mana. Here comes Teferi. Primal Command. Sure. Okie dokie. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Five, six, seven, eight. And they would have one, two, three, four, five creatures still. I think we just have to... It doesn't matter. Tap this idiot. Alright. I mean, let's see if they just crater hoof and... Five, six, seven, eight. Yep, nope, now they got all the mana to do it in the world. Yep. This is why we hate crater hoof. It just wins games when you have no right to win games. None of these creatures would ever win the game on their own. But now they have Crater Hoof, so now they get two. Good times. I think that actually worked out fine. I mean, basically, I feel like we're our biggest uh, our biggest issue here is friggin' crater huff.
Uh, so one thing going against uh, the theory of it being a hoax, right, is this Twitter thread here, which is really disconcerting, actually. Uh, apparently, for those on YouTube and uh, for those who can't click the link, there's an E6B Mercury off the East Coast near DC, and there's an E6B on the West Coast as well. Um, and for those who don't know, the E6B is a, it's kind of known as the Doomsday Plane. Um, if anything is taken out in the United States, the E6B is the plane that can launch a strike to nuke the entire world and make sure it destroys everything on, on the planet. <laughs> so it's basically a, a kind of like a don't fuck with us or else we will literally destroy it all. Uh, and it's really disconcerting that there's two of them flying on the East Coast and the West Coast right now. Um, so that leads me to think that it's not, not really a hoax. So that's just, it's just kind of creepy actually. Oh, Teferi or Island? Let's go Teferi. Play an Island. Sounds good. Okay, there's a lot of dirtily stuff here. Oh god, my kingdom for a pyroclasm. It's actually pretty decent. Gives me a thing to do, at least. Before this Karanos comes down and this Teferi comes down. I do have a feeling they're just going to play Questing Beast here, but... That's not... You're gonna beast within my wandering funeral? They love doing that. They love beasting with inning. Okay, Rattleclaw Mystic. Sounds good. Frosty Tea! Let's draw a card. Let's get rid of... It shouldn't be Swamp, right? Because, like... And we have a lot of... I've never heard of the E6B plane before you told me. It's really scary. Yeah, it's terrifying. It's a literal... The concept is literally terrifying. Go down to four, go up to seven. Bradley, have a good night, buddy. We can actually flip Jace next turn. Or, te yeah, Jace. I was going to say, or Tuffery. You know, Polychronos is a cool dude. Draw a card. That's fine. You're junk. Don't like you. 
Um, we kind of want to land here. Now we're not going to find a land. We could just shoot both of these. That's pretty cool. Okay, our greed was was real, but it's also fine now. So I'm, I don't think we play Karanos. We're definitely keeping the land. I kind of like Ballista shoot these two. See, but I, God, it's just is it just Karanos? I mean, it's literally yeah. The the fact that we have a plan to destroy the world if someone attacks us is kind of insane. Yeah, but it's literally the like, if you take if you take me down, you're all coming with me. You know, it's that classic like movie scenario. You know. Let me see what this link is. Do 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 do. Interest. I can't. I can't. I'm just trying to follow this link without like timing out here. <laughs> it's. It was me. I literally don't know what to discard here, man. I think we're just going to discard Karanos. I think both of these are stronger here, which feels super weird. God, Karanos in the graveyard seems terrible. But I think Frost Titan and Duplicate is just a better plan. They have a lot of mana here. I don't like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot. And my hope is that they're just going to activate Pelucranos for a million. I don't think so. I think they're going to... I think they're tooth and nailing here and we're just going to get fucking destroyed. We still don't have Spell Pierce, right? Yeah. All right. Now I'm wondering if I just killed this guy in response, if it would have been better. But I wanted to be able to block, keep one of our planeswalkers alive. I guess it still would have kept Jace alive. I mean, if they get Crater, if they only have two guys, maybe this isn't terrible. We're at 20. I 
Can we get to untap, go like duplicate or frost titan? Hmm, I don't know. Oh lord. Questing beast and crater hoof. It's pretty good. Two hasty creatures is insanely good here. Yep, that's pretty bad for us. And they all get trample, so... That's probably going to be game. Yeah, they're getting 15 by themselves. Yeah, that's game. This is fucking bullshit. Crater Hoof is such a bullshit magic card. <sighs> I mean, they were nice, but... It still kind of sucks to get Crater Hoofed out two games in a row. This is one of those situations you were talking about when I was watching your rational of looting or not, where you loot with nothing you want. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I looted because you always want to loot, but then, like, I'm get, getting rid of actual cards that I want to be able to play. And, like, if my hand is Karanos Duplicant Frost Titan and I loot and I get, like, Phyrexian Metamorph, like, I don't want to replace any of these cards in my deck, right? Like, if I draw, like, the no, the cards that I'm drawing in the future are not going to be better than any of these four. These are some, four of the best cards in my deck. So, by ha by having having to discard one, by forcing myself to discard one, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I think if your hand is good and you have nothing you want to discard, I think looting is actively bad. Because it puts you in a position where you're going to have to discard a card that will be very valuable later in the game. Like, there are, like I said, like like I mentioned, there are cards that are irreplaceable in in limited formats, right? Like, if I have a Rex Sage in hand and I discard it, but I don't have any other effect that does that, like, and if I need this later in the game, then it's like, well, it's gone now. Gone now. Oh, I like a Brawl here, actually. Because next time we can Ballista and keep up Spell Pierce. It's pretty good. I mean, I assume this guy's dead to, like, Searing Blaze, Incinerate, sure. That's a lot of red mana. If you want to discard your hand to draw those too, that's fine by me. You coming at me, bro? Sure. Deal. Sword of Fire and Ice against my blue-red deck. Mm. Veto. Veto. This guy's annoying, but I can just block it with Nimble Obstructionist, and then, like, it's a great turn. Because then I get to untap and play your boy Mully. It's a fantastic block. That was, a, that was a good hit. Yep, you got it. So, three, four, five, six. That's real close. And then we can Ancestral as well. Not going to attack because we are not the aggressor in this matchup at all. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to take two for a million turns just because you can bring this guy back one day. Sure, you have one card in hand. Oof. 
Torrential Gear Hulk is nice. What can we get back? Spell Pierce? I'm pretty sure we just Gadwick here to draw a million. Three, four, five. Also, if we get Torrential Gearhook next turn, it turns on Karanos. Thank you. Kesem, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Sure. Charm me, daddy. I mean, Frost Titan on Smuggler's Compter is pretty good. But Tefri also turns on Karanos at instant speed. None of these guys have reach, though, so... Three, four, five. Oh, so does Frost Titan, actually. Not at instant speed, per se, but... Really? You don't just Smuggler's Compter? I guess you don't have, any, you have one card in hand? Sure. Dude, dude, dude. It doesn't matter. They're at six. Yeah, they're going to have to have, like, really good draws here. They also don't have anything to crew this guy right now, so... Got the boys over here. Cracking a cold one. Turns out Birds of Paradise is a really good drop. One drop for the red deck. <laughs> is that, that true? Yeah, this deck actually has a really good time turning on Karanos. Like, triple, red, triple blue, double blue, double blue. Double blue, double blue, triple blue. Karanos has been a thing pretty consistently. I kind of like don't hate Thing in the Ice just as like a blocker. I think pull for tomorrow is probably too slow. Man, if we could play Gifted Aetherborn, wouldn't that be sweet? Maybe we can. What if we board in like Heartless Act, Gift Data they're born? Double black is pretty rough. When we have one piece of fixing. Heartless Act is pretty decent though. Oh, one, two, three. Probably another probably another one. Oh, that was all we needed. Um, actually, I'll just do one more. I'm going to maximize the blacks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go seven. And Heartless Act. Is Silumgar better than any of our others? Probably better than Gear Hulk. Why doesn't clothes look good when you read it? I'm like, I'm reading this thing. I don't get why it's good. We could also play Gristlebrand. <laughs> yeah, this seems better, I think. We're obviously never going to flip Thing in the Ice. We didn't put Thing in the Ice in. I think that's fine. We'll put Gifted Aetherborn instead. We already have Brawl. Oh, boy. This is, I think we have enough blue that this should be fine. We're also on the draw. So. Oh boy. Your favorite and mine. Oh boy. Blue. Oh my god, seriously? That's wild, dude. I think we're just taking one. I don't really feel like having Hero of Blade Hold bust me in the nuts. Interesting. I 
I think this is still fine. We can kill this, but then like Hero Blade Hold comes down and we really have no recourse for it. Which is pretty bad. But they might not have it, so... Okay, sure. <sighs> They're gonna have it. That's worse. Oh, that's that's nice though. That's kind of cool. That guy never sticks around. No one has ever paid the fucking echo cost of Avalanche Rider in the history of Magic the Gathering. Sure. Oof. This is pretty wild, actually. You know, this is this is ridiculous. Four blue, four four black, and the one blue spell is a. That's cool. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Fun game. Funny joke. <laughs> oh boy. Good times. Everything is. We have no real answer to artifacts except for like countering them. And they have two swords that are pro blue, so that's. That's cool. <laughs> that's. That's sweet. Snap keep. We're gonna start with a swamp because if we hit Aetherborn, we can play it. And we don't have anything with double blue or a second blue in our hand, so. They've had removal for this guy three games in a row. Let's see if it's... Or two games in a row. Let's see if it's all three. Yep, all three. Sounds good. Like, this is actually just a ridiculous amount of red mana to draw. Or black mana. I don't know why I said red. Give me an island. I'm sure of it. Which is actually lets us Teferi next turn. Which does block all his stupid dirtles. I think Thass is actually a real sweet build around in this cube. You do have to get Thassa early and... Oh, wow. Interesting. Probably would have activated Zergo to put another counter on this, put another card onto this, and then draw a bunch of cards. Yep. Seems good. Yep. Yep, that's actually pretty decent here. Let them loot. We're just blocking here because... Oh, they didn't activate Beaumont Courier. That's fascinating. That seems extremely greedy. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
They don't have any mana left. Oh my god, we just get to eat the Bomat Courier? Oh, that's insane. Oh my god, how is that real? Uh, attack Chandra. Attack your face with both. We actually... Oh, we should have metamorphed the, uh, the sword. We can do that next turn. I was really more concerned with having Whirler Rogue tokens to block. Hmm. Huh. Well, I can't do anything about that, actually. It's pretty bad. They didn't exert? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? Come on, give me something good. That could be something good. Actually, Heartless Act is real good. Okay. Oh my god. This is this game is intense, dude. Oh my god, we win! 2-1. Thank you guys for watching. That was that was only round two? I thought we won round one. Don't don't go anywhere yet. We're still playing. Thank you guys for watching anyway. I could have sworn that was round three. Is that not round three? That feels weird. I'm really uncomfortable right now. I could have sworn that was round three. I'm uncomfortable. It's still two one technically. Yeah, I was just referring to the I was just referring to the match. <laughs> oh god. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Well, I, I like this hand. Hmm. Crater have did feel like two rounds. Man, I was like so excited. I thought we two won. We still got another round to go to two one. Jeez. MTG Nerd Girl, Brittany, what's going on? Thank you for the raid. Really appreciate you, buddy. We're waiting for our opponent. <laughs> but they're really taking their time here. Awesome. Hope you had a great stream. I assume you are hitting the hay. It is 2 a.m. here. <laughs> kind of dud. I mean, sus. <laughs> Oh, man. God, I feel like Sus has gotten way more popular with Among Us. Like, literally no one said Sus before Among Us, and now it's like... It's in every meme. Oh, Two-Way, what up? What's our opponent doing? T -t -t Today, Junior! Oh my god, why is it taking so long? 
13 and a half hours of stream, 7 hours of Among Us. Oh, God. Wait. Okay, so 13 hours total. Seven of those were Among Us. So you've been on since, like, like 1, 8, 1 p.m.? Good grief, woman. Do you eat? God. That's a day right there. My God. Dude, streaming actually takes a lot out of me. Like, because you're always talking. You always have to be on. Like, it's just... It's it's surprisingly... Yeah, I forced them to watch me eat. That's normal. That's totally... I mean, some of them are probably there for that. It's... They like... It's, it's just a mukbang stream at that point. Like, you're always... You're staring at a monitor. You're making strategic decisions. There's so many little... There's so many little factors that go into... Uh, into streaming that like people don't consider and they're just, you're just playing games all day and I'm like it's definitely exhausting like after like three or four hours I'm just like oh god I need a break because <laughs> it's just it's draining you're staring at a screen making st just strategic decisions like uh, you're talking the whole time you're trying to be entertaining it's really a thing it's a whole thing Yeah, like, people underestimate how to, like, like, imagine having a conversation for six, six hours, ten hours, thirteen hours in Brittany's case. Brittany, have a good night. Thank you for the raid, and get some, get some sleep, please. This guy's unimpressive, so they're gonna counter this guy. But that lets us keep her manned up. Thank you. Quality content is always a great job of raising all that. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna remand this because let's us let's us loot. Um Yeah. Let's get rid of a mountain and then we just get to play Karn next turn. That's pretty cool. Wow, really? You're gonna mana leak this? You're gonna condescend for one? Okay, you got it. That's discouraging. Is it expensive to get started on MTG? It really depends on what you want to do. One of the stream sponsors is ManaTraders.com. So if you were interested in trying out things on MTGO, you can subscribe at ManaTraders.com with the link and promo code down below and you get 15% off the first three months of any subscription. In which case, um, then you're able to like try out decks, test things you want to, want to play, and then you can be like, oh, well, maybe this isn't for me, or maybe it is, you know, and you can just kind of determine that way. But it's a great service if you want to if you want to just rent decks, like rent uh, cards for specific decks for Pioneer, or Modern, or Standard, or anything. I kind of just like Gadwick, or, uh, yeah, Gadwick here. I don't care about Teferi. Like, again, I don't have anything I want to discard, so I'd rather just draw two. And I kind of feel like we're way ahead here. Also, Torrential Girl to remand something is just really solid on its own just because it's like if there was a 5-6 creature that had remand attached like that's pretty good if there was a 2-2 two, two creature that let you draw 2 that's pretty good that's a lot of mana they got Hmm. I guess we're just attacking here. I feel like we're in good shape. It's kind of nuts for to play Constructive if you're paying for cards constantly. I don't think that's true, though. Because you can still sell the cards back on MTGO, which you can't do on Arena. And, um... Like, also... MTGO is not super expensive. And... Like, the other thing is that, like... Like, you're going to be paying for cards anyway. Like, it's really hard to be like, well, I got to pay for the cards. It's like, yeah, but you got to do that anyway. I think we just keep up Torrential Gear Hulk and... Six mana. Yeah, I do hear a lot of people play EDH. Yeah, EDH is actually pretty good for, for MTGO. Or vice versa, rather. MTGO is pretty good for EDH. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, you choose an instant or sorcery? Yeah, knock yourself out, man. 
knock yourself out. I still have a counterspell. Or two. Narset, huh? We're just going to play this because otherwise we can't play anything. I'll just tap your stupid Hedron Archive down. I'm sure you'll tap it in response. Do it. Tap it in response. Okay. And the reason we're doing this is because we can't draw the card off of Remand. If we, uh... Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. We just get to destroy this Narset. Sure. They have one card in hand? Did they whiff? That'd be pretty hilarious if they whiffed. I could see them conceding if they whiffed. Just be like, alright. See you later. Or they have like three bangers and they're trying to figure it out. That's a good one. Sublime Epiphany off the top, off the tip of the top. They have one card in hand. Oh, we know what it is. <laughs> Just oh, that's pretty good though. Three, four, five. It's also online. Oh god, how much are they drawing though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They get to draw nine cards. Oh, good gravy. Attack your face, attack Narset. That was a good one. That was a good hit from them. I don't know if we have any actual... We could counter the... No, we can't even do that, right? Because it doesn't, it doesn't say not mana ability. But, like, this doesn't go on the stack. So there's no real way to counter that. God, they also just gain nine life? What in the earth, man? Is there a counter spell we care about hitting? Six, seven. My goal of stack is 5,500 in paper and 365 on MTGO. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, God. Just copy Muldrifter for, for three. That's seven. We have four mana left over. I think it's just Karanos here. Right? Get to attack for like a million? Obstruction just doesn't tap anything, so that doesn't... That's not a real... That's not a real thing, unfortunately. Oh, with Gadwick. You're saying cast it as a, as a guy. I mean, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather pull for tomorrow. I mean, the problem is, like, they just do this during the upkeep. They don't have to, like, like, they don't have to wait. I'm actually just going to pull for tomorrow for, for one last and see if we can hit Spell Pierce. Are they going to go for it? Are they doing it? Are they living the dream? eight they're like you know what five cards is fine for me oh six cards they're like you know what one more just to be safe I will also draw a million cards oof that seems good let's get rid of that guy immediately Sublime Epiphany seems insane. Resolves, copy Torrential Gear Hulk, cast it from the graveyard, copy Torrential Gear Hulk. Whew, that's bananas. But no one knows. We, we do want to hit a land here. I don't really want to get my hand clogged up with a bunch of spells.
Sower of Temptation? I mean, I got Walking Ballista, that's fine. Yes. So seven, eight mana. We can Walking Ballista. For four. And we can Teferi, I guess. Huh. Seven, eight. This guy for five. Doesn't doesn't do what we want to do. We also don't want them to just have Gadwick either, so. Let's just attack for five, I guess. Wish I had one I do wish I had one more land, because then we can actually play Teferi and Ballista for we just play Ballista. It's gotta be Ballista Teferi, right? Or Ballista this Teferi. Is that correct? I don't care about the stupid Muldrifter. thing is I just I think we can actually get rid of obstructionist here sure tap that dude let's draw a card um, yeah. yeah I think it's the weakest card in our hand I definitely want the land next turn so we can do things I don't know seven I mean like we might just have too much land now we might, have, might have maybe discard the land I guess Sure. Here we go. <sighs> See you later. So only four cards in hand. Titan Primary. Uh, you get a duplicate, which is pretty good. But we have Sublime Epiphany. We just bounce it. That seems really okay. I have two cards in hand. I mean, duplicate's like the only card that that's really any good right now, right? We got one, what was exiled? Remand, one, two. Yeah, obviously. Get rid of Torrential Gearhulk. Sure. We're gonna go to one card and we just get to, we get to actually play Teferi. <sighs> That's interesting. Seven, eight, nine. This is five, and then we still have Metamorph at instant speed, which can copy duplicate. That seems pretty good. I kind of want to do this now because I don't want them to draw a counterspell or even crack he draw an archive to draw a counterspell. Oof, nice. Oh, what's up, evil monkey? Alright, they're at nine. All of our things are unfazable. Journey to nowhere. Okay. 
copy the duplicate, get rid of the mentor. We don't want to get rid of their duplicate because like you can't respond to this. It's I have Teferi on board. Oh, you can draw two, sure. And still can't respond to it. Journey getting rid of Teferi is pretty good. We still have Sublime Epiphany though. Definitely bouncing this guy. They have four cards. Oh, okay, they drew the Drith Hedron Archive. Three cards now. Two cards F. Glenelendra seems phenomenal. That's real good. If we have ten, we can't do two things still. To counter this that's pretty hilarious i kind of just want a sublime epiphany here now that they can't do anything counter spell uh counter an activator trigger ability return an online permanent create a token and target player draws a card cast choose target Oh, I think getting the per rid of the Persist is probably better, right? Return anomaly and permanent. This guy. Choose a creature you control. This guy. Choose target player. Well, it went on the stack. So that's pretty good. Counter the Persist. Okay. Oh man, Sublime Epiphany. Oof. So we get Duplicate back in our hand. We get to draw a card from this. They don't get their Glenelinger Archmage. And we get a copy of Metamorph, which would be Duplicate, I guess. Yeah, that seems fine. I think our deck is pretty good like this. I could see bringing an expansion explosion because they have th things. I don't think we've drawn or cast Night Vale Spectre once, so that would be cool if we could do that. I kind of just want to play 17 here, or 41, because we have enough like ways to get things. Oh, turn one Ancestral, turn two Jace. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, and they went to six? Oh, boy. We're doing it. The dream is live. See, like, this is a situation where I'm looting because I want to find lands. So I can, I'm can. i easily... I'm fine discarding a Battle Sphere to, to find a land here. Oh, untap that. I'm trying to move this. Sure. Okay. No blue sources, too, which is nice and... Okay. Seems good. Oh, now they got a blue source. I like that. Nope. Keep up spell piercer, you know. It's really going to go black source. Never return. We spell pierce. Four mana, huh? No. Spell pierce is when spell pierce is good, it's so good. So you now I'm fine discarding a land because next time we're gonna draw three, so Notification. Um. Hmm. Oh, we're just we're drawing lands. We're drawing infinite lands. <laughs> he said confidently. We're drawing four cards, so. Oh, we're not because of the stupid Galenalendra. I gotcha. Yep, that's a good. That is a good card. 
Yep, that's actually really sad. Like, we don't have any... Actually... Nimble Obstructionist one time. Dang it. It was not a Nimble Obstructionist. Oh, well. I still think we're way ahead here. We get to flip Jace next turn. One land and we get to play... Uh, Sublime Epiphany. <laughs> I mean, we have... What do they get? They get Karanos? Oh, we get to Sublime whatever they get, though? I guess Frost Titan would be bad. That's all we did not want to see. Spell our ability. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. You got it. You got it. Yeah, that's, that's the worst land we could have drawn when we have Sublime Epiphany. Uh, Epiphany? Sure. Not ideal. <sighs> Keeping Jace down. Sure. I'm just gonna take six here. Whirler Rogue. I don't think we attack here. I think we just keep up Epiphany in case they want to play something. It means we can't bounce this, but like, we still get to. What are they gonna do? Keep Jace tap down, okay. The problem is if they don't play anything, we don't get to do anything. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Can't really torrential gear hulk anything either, so. Hmm. Karn just dies. So I guess we'll play this. Man, they're winning with our own Frost Titan. It's kind of funny. Boy, the irony, guys. You got it. Keeping Jace tap down, huh? This is a pretty easy trade. We get to just keep a blocker next turn as well. Hmm. Make a thopter. And we get to keep up expansion explosion here, which is nice. I, I said keep it, I said make a thopter, I meant make a construct. Going face here. F fascinating. I'm just taking it. Like, going 8 seems like nothing against this deck. I 
got Island Remand, you're definitely giving me an island. But that's fine. Well, we still get to keep up, keep up big epiphs, and next turn we get to actually cast Epiphany if they don't have anything. We could also just grab a remand. God, my kingdom for events are here. Interesting. Hmm. Fascinating. I mean, Jace gets to loot. Can't play anything from our graveyard, unfortunately. Do we just want to put a remand in our hand? Five, six, seven, not yet. Hmm. They have three cards. If they keep giving me islands, I'm just going to keep playing islands. Yeah, I think we're still passing again. We can block with Jace next turn and flip. Which seems pretty good. It's like a free free turn, plus we get to keep up Torrential Gear Hulk, slash Epiphany, slash Nimble Obstructionist, slash Explosion Expansion. That fumarole tap down, boy. Uh, six, seven, eight. I do want to have the eighth land, so I think we're just going to get rid of Teferi. I don't think we're going to be Teferiing this. Also, Teferi phasing something out does not give it back to me. Mole Drifter, huh? Hmm. Could have also discarded Sublime Epiphany, but I don't think that's the thing we care about. I kind of just want to, kind of just want to counter this with Obstructionist. That seems good. Eight. Okay. They have two cards. Man, this is a control deck through and through. Are we are we up a game? I think we won last game, right? Heartless act one of these dudes. They have two cards. Do we see any counter spells last game? Target spell, counter, choose an only permanent this one. Choose a creature to copy this one. God, this is like gonna be bad. I mean I, I don't think I should think it's that bad. Because we still have torrential gear hook to cast it a second time if they do. Yep. I mean, we can just main phase Gear Hulk and do this all over again. 
Yep. You got it. Now they tap this guy down, they do get to kill a planeswalker, but. Or they could just go face and post the two, but yeah, the killing J seems better here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Cast. Uh, return an online permanent, create a token, target player draws a card. You choose target creature you control. You, me. And now we still have expansion explosion up. No. I will just be satisfied with my big fat idiots. Hmm. We'll just reveal here. Oh, gonna give me an island for sure. No? Okay. I mean, I'm worried about a sweeper. I'm worried about them going like attack Karn, kill Karn, sweeper. But like, then we just get to play Frost Titan, so. Also, sweeper seems kind of weird in this deck because. <laughs> yeah, this is. This is bad juju. Aggressive. Good in there with a million. Yeah, seven cards in the library is fine. We're not going to force ourselves to draw anything. Like at this point, Expansion Explosion is just a counter spell. Unless they play something pretty gross, like a sweeper. Unless they do play a sweeper. But, like, we also have Expansion Explosion to just burn their face. Sure. I'll put Sphinx's Rev in one pile. Along with a Plains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do they play a land this turn? No. That's fine. So they can gain four, so they go to ten, but like my board is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, they kept the. Oh, they had a Vista. They had a Windows Vista. Oh, so, so they're just dead. They're just dead to Explosion Expansion. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. So we know that this is like their full hand. What are they targeting? Frost Titan? I mean, only one of these dudes can attack. Pay the pay the toll. Okay, so that's gone. So you know Flooded Strand Doomfall was their hand? I guess we just have to not have them have an answer for our 4 4, but. No. They didn't, so now we're just gonna kill them. Uh, choose any target. Well, you can draw the cards too. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whew. Our deck was sweet. I mean, we lost the modern green match to Crater Hoof. I feel like you would appreciate this. I was dig digging through old boxes that I hadn't unpacked, and I found 28 to 30 year old Skybox Impel Marvel trading card complete sets in a box. Chris, did you did you not know you owned those? 
Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapormanitures.com, coolstuffinc.com, and nordvpn.org slash franklapore. All those links are down in the description. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.